What's going on guys? Welcome back to Clay's Coins. I believe confidence creates confidence. So I'm here to bring you some information, education, and better understanding of cryptocurrency and the stock market. This is not financial advice, however. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not an indication to buy, hold, or sell any cryptocurrency or stock talked about in this video or on this channel. Also, now I have to add this into my intro. Watch out for WhatsApp and Telegram scammers. Watch out for anyone in the comments section below that's pretending to be me. I have fake accounts now, so uh, that's how you guys know you're part of one of the fastest growing families on YouTube, is we have fake accounts pretending to be me. Um, you'll see their username is pinned by Clay's Coins or Clay's Coins WhatsApp or something like that. I'll never contact you guys with any information like that. I'll never ask you guys to go to a WhatsApp or a Telegram. All of that is spam. Just like Miss Jones uh, teaching someone how to make $28,000 a week off Bitcoin. <laughs> That's not real. You know what I mean? Uh, all those comments are spam. All that being said, guys, we have a listing video today. Uh, I like doing the listing videos. They seem to do pretty well, and uh, it's a good, good indication of volume pumps and different things like that you guys can watch out for especially if you're already a holder of the cryptocurrency and it gets listed on a popular exchange that's generally a positive catalyst um, we have a listing for coinbase today a few listings for kraken and two listings for crypto.com it's the first time I'm putting crypto.com in here uh, hopefully I can keep up with it regularly they list a bunch of different uh, cryptocurrencies and I will say uh, beforehand all of the uh, listings we're talking about today on Kraken are for the U.S. exchanges. I live in the United States. Um, that's kind of what I'm shooting for for my demographic. If you have access to more of these coins because you don't live in the U.S., that's awesome. Uh, let me know down in the comments below. I know I have some viewers from Norway, so that's pretty cool. Um, but let me know down below. And uh, also, if you're not in the United States, let me, let me know what you think's going on right now. Um, everything going on in the world. I'm not going to touch down too, uh, too much on it right now just because... I want to keep it lighthearted. There's plenty of different outlets you can go um, watch and live vicariously through what's happening between, you know, the two countries. But uh, I'm not going to talk about that here. We're going to try to keep a lighter heart and just talking about the listings going on and uh, focus on some of the crypto, okay? Before we do, guys, I got to do the YouTube stuff. Why don't you do me a favor and like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. My goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of this month, and we are so close. At the time of this recording, we're at 850 subscribers. That's absolutely crazy. This is one of the fastest growing families on YouTube, and I absolutely love it. I am so proud of this, uh, the work I'm putting into this and the appreciation you guys have for me. It, you know, it means the world. So I'll give you a moment to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell if you haven't already, and uh, I'll give you a moment to do so right now. Dope. Thank you guys so, so much. Starting off the video with our only Coinbase listing today, my neighbor Alice. Uh, ticker symbol Alice, A-L-I-C-E. I will say full disclosure, their CEO just resigned. I'm not sure all the details on it. I do believe it was their CEO or co-CEO. Someone very important with the company just stepped down. So I'm not saying that's a positive or negative catalyst. I'm not really saying anything. I have no information on that. I learned that after writing the script um, about the listing video and before doing the recording. So I wanted to just be transparent with you guys and let you know. My Neighbor Alice is a farm-themed play-to-earn NFT builder game built on Chromia. Uh, Chromia, I'm probably not saying that right. With their artwork being inspired by a Swedish children's book and game mechanics inspired by Minecraft and Animal Crossing, this game aims to target the traditional gaming audience and uh, they state that players will need zero knowledge of cryptocurrency, NFTs, or blockchain technology prior to playing. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of them trying to bridge the gap between the decentralized and centralized. Um, players can purchase virtual land on in-game islands and build, decorate, and customize them. That's pretty cool. Uh, getting kind of like an Animal Crossing sense vibe with the islands and building on it. I read some things about like daily challenges and different things like that with a lot of the building mechanics from Minecraft, but a lot of the challenges and the reason to come back similar to Animal Crossing, which is always good because you don't want a game with, you know, some games are brilliant games that you play the campaign once and it's done, or you play the story all through and beat it. Maybe you beat it on different difficulties if you're hunting achievements or something, but games like that can be masterpieces but their replay value is not necessarily there. 
with something like um, you know, Animal Crossing. People put so much time into games like this and, uh, you know, coming back to do different things, water their plants, cut down trees, build a different house, check on the progress of different things. Um, play, people find a lot of interest and a lot of joy in that. Um, it, it's very rewarding feeling for a lot of people and satisfying. So my neighbor Alice is looking to target that audience and I think they're doing a great job by the looks of it. Um, they're honing in on the casual gamer demographic like Games like Farming Simulator um, and the aforementioned Animal Crossing are great examples of how big a game like this can be. Because when you think of like, you know, there's so much competitive action in the gaming world nowadays that there's so many games like Overwatch, Call of Duty, Halo, um, League of Legends, things that take up so much of your attention are, and are so hypersensitive and hyper competitive that you forget that games like farming simulator and animal crossing and minecraft even minecraft on like passive mode and people just building stuff you know games like that are wildly popular and they're incredibly peaceful you know people need a balance sometimes they can't just non-stop be going all out playing overwatch 12 hours a day for their whole life so uh you know games like this definitely have their niche and that's what my neighbor alice is looking to hone in on if you can hone in on a niche, anyone who uh, you know watches YouTube knows you can be rather successful. It's surprising that the second cryptocurrency into the video we're already done with Coinbase, but now we also have another surprise, which is Crypto.com. Uh, I decided I'm throwing in Crypto.com into the listing videos now. Starting off with Auto, launching in December of 2020, Auto is the native utility and governance token to the Auto Farm Protocol. You guessed it. It's a DeFi token. <laughs> Finding its home on Binance Smart Chain, AutoFarm is a cross-chain yield aggregator that enables users to get high return on their assets from yield farming pools by staking in AutoFarm vaults. Looking to become a leading yield aggregator and decentralized exchange on the Binance Smart Chain, they've really only been going for about a year now and have, a, have their sights set relatively high. Um, they have their goals in mind. They want to achieve them. They're kind of putting their blinders on and keeping their eye on the prize, and you like to see that. The total value locked is closing in on 200 million. That's going to be a huge milestone, and the uh, trading volume to the market cap ratio is rather impressive. Um, looking at 26% of the total market cap being traded, obviously you're looking at a you're looking at a micro micro cap. I mean, this thing is very small. 18 million for the market cap, so be careful with the trading volume at 4 million though. Um, you have a substantial amount of what the company is worth or the cryptocurrency is worth being traded at once. That's that's always a good sign for momentum's sake. I'm definitely excited to watch this project grow and uh, you know see which which one is going to be the winner out of all these DeFi because the DeFi race is crazy, which you can go watch that DeFi race video actually. The other crypto.com listing we're going to be looking at is Keeper V1, and this is actually also the first Kraken listing we're going to be looking at because Kraken and Crypto.com uh, are listing Keeper V1 this week. So it makes sense for it to be on this list and it just counts for both of them. So this is the last Crypto.com but the first Kraken. Keeper V1 is essentially a decentralized finance job board that allows DeFi protocols to interact with the job executors known as Keepers. Founded by blockchain engineer and application developer Andre Cronje. I'm probably not saying that right, so we're going to go with Andre. Andre is also behind the wildly successful Yearn Finance DeFi project. I know you guys have seen that. With that, I mean, that thing registered like 1,900% gains or something like that. It was absolutely insane. Another DeFi project with a great dev team, but I will note that while CoinMarketCap shows a max supply of 201 643 the crypto does not have a set amount of tokens available more tokens are minted with this cryptocurrency when enough liquidity is provided by uniswap um that's the that whenever that happens more currency is going to be minted and so most times you'll see hyphen marks right here which would indicate that there's not a capped max supply right here you don't and that's kind of misleading i'm not sure why i didn't do a bunch of research on it it's probably a phenomenal phenomenal project. There's probably a reason to that, but just keep that in mind. Um, it, even though it shows that it's 99% and it's 201,000, as soon as the liquidity is met and Uniswap, it's provided through Uniswap, um, there's going to be more tokens minted, minted. However, this token has the potential to skyrocket this year. Um, I see this doing huge numbers. 
if you can look at this two ways you could envision a line that comes down right about here at the top of this and goes down and you can say we're in a downward downward slope or you can look out a little more long term and think this right here is showing that we might be hitting a peak and hitting setting all-time highs here during the next bull run when that might be I don't know due to everything going on in the world it might take a little bit 2022 might be a rough year but keep in mind the markets will come back besides the cryptos that go to zero and the crappier projects that get weeded out that shouldn't have been here in the first place the market is going to recover even if it takes a little bit a few months maybe up to a year you never know you know crazier things have happened I'm not gonna act for a second if I can't predict the price of a cryptocurrency I'm not gonna predict predict the health of the overall crypto market anyone who thinks that they can predict the health of the overall crypto market is selling you something that is not worth what you're paying for that's I mean it's as simple as that no one is able to do that absolutely no one so I just like to keep it real with you guys and give you the information and uh, educate you guys so you can have a better understanding of these cryptocurrencies when they come out in the listing videos and uh, you can check out my other content I do plenty of other videos we're closing in on that 1,000 subscribers and I can't wait next up on the Kraken listing is Gala I think that's how you say it um I don't know if you've heard of it I think they might do games or something I'm just kidding this is one of my favorite cryptocurrencies. I can't believe that Kraken didn't have this listed, but here we go. You know, if everything wasn't happening with the perfect disaster of timing, um, this would probably be a pretty good catalyst and indicate a good price pump, especially when you take a look at the fact that they are at a $1.4 billion market cap and they have experienced $1.7 billion of trading volume in the last 24 hours. That is insane. I mean, that is without question something to look at and something that would be causing a big price pump if we weren't in the macroeconomic state that the world is in at this very moment. I've talked about this cryptocurrency a few times on this channel. Um, I've been a holder of this cryptocurrency for a few months. I'm a holder of the next cryptocurrency on our list as well. Coincidentally, I was a holder before the you know this exchange video. But uh, for that reason, I won't spend too much time on this crypto because I've I've talked about it a lot. Go watch my gaming video because this was a huge part of the uh, gaming cryptocurrencies that I think are going to make billions of dollars as uh, cryptos. I, I, no question. You could see Gala at least 10 times from here, and, uh, you know, that's all I'll say. Coming in with another banger that Kraken added. I'm very happy to see him add this because there's not many cryptocurrencies I am more bullish on at this moment. Immutable X. Ticker symbol IMX. I actually made a, close to a whole video on this cryptocurrency when they partnered with GameStop, which was massive. It's kind of like a four-way partnership saying GameStop saying they're going to have an NFT place built on Ethereum. The layer one is going to be Loopring and the layer two is going to be Immutable X. That's the thing. Immutable X is the first layer two scaling solution for NFTs on Ethereum. Optimal user and asset security, massive scalability, instant trading, and zero gas fees for minting and trading NFTs. These are some of the reasons that Vitalik himself said Ethereum is all in on IMX and their Stark ZK roll-up technology. Gods Unchained is a perfect example of a successful product being built on Immutable X. Um, they utilize ZK roll-ups to focus exclusively on NFTs to increase their chances of becoming the default NFT blockchain of the future. When you think about the default NFT blockchain of the future, that is a massive statement. Keep in mind, the default blockchain right now is Ethereum. That, I mean, you could argue Binance, um, you know, BSC, anything over there, but most cryptocurrencies that are commonly traded, I would say at this point, and most new projects that are being built are being built in some way on Ethereum or being utilized with a scaling solution to make Ethereum faster. That's the default. Um, it would be insane to see Immutable X do this. Looking at the price right now, I just purchased a little bit more a couple days ago. It is sitting at price points that we are yet to see since its launch. Uh, this is, this has exponential potential. I love the rhyming of that, and I love even more the fact that if I'm right about this, we could um, we could see life changing gains off this. We could see this cryptocurrency rocket up. It's hard capped at two billion. Um, 
the volume is 115 million right now when it sits at a 336 million dollar market cap it's absolutely insane fully diluted is only 2.8 so we could see it 10 times or 20 times and be at 20, 28 billion or 56 billion which is like i've said before not out of the realm of possibility for what could be the default layer 2 solution i haven't talked about it in a while because there was really not much to talk about um biconomy is a project that's really reliant on web3 uh, until we start to move in that direction and start optimizing Web2 clients for Web3, Biconomy is much more of a speculative play. Um, when it does, though, this thing could rock it. I mean, it could 10, 20, 50x, absolutely. There's no question about it. It's arguably the biggest exchange in Canada. Um, I don't know what Canada is doing about all the cryptocurrency and Trudeau doing some stuff, but I live down down in the U.S., even though I'm up in the Northeast, so I'm pretty close, but we're still United States over here, and uh, the Biconomy token, I think it has a tremendous amount of potential if everything moves in the way that would allow it to capitalize on that potential. I just hope it doesn't become the Sega Dreamcast of crypto, and uh, even though it's great, it's simply too ahead of its time. We could see Bico approach the 90 cent range, um, maybe upwards of, uh, between 90 cent and a dollar, I might seriously consider loading up again because the risk to reward ratio in that sense is, is astronomical. It's, uh, absolutely ridiculous. Even if it is a more speculative play, I would absolutely consider loading up at this, loading up on this rather, um, at the 90 cent range. And I say words like foundational and terms like solid play for some crypto and speculative and micro cap for others. Not that the smaller cryptos can't be a solid foundational play for you in the future, but you always need a balanced boat between conservative and risky and everyone's different. Um, just know who you are emotionally and if you can handle a portfolio swinging 15% in a day because it's all greasy hundred million dollar micro cap or less 50x altcoins you know if you can tolerate that big of a shift and that you know a tectonic level adjustment in your portfolio every single day if your mental health can tolerate that live your life make your paper boo boo other than that um, maybe try to solidify your foundation a little bit more so your boat isn't unbalanced um, because you might not be able to control what the cryptocurrency does after you buy it but you can always control what cryptocurrency you buy all right guys that's going to be everything uh i hope you enjoyed the video looking at some different listings coinbase listing crypto.com and kraken had a bunch of listings on here uh had some shared listings so that was pretty cool and we got to start doing crypto.com listings so uh plenty of new stuff going on i hope you guys stay safe take care of yourselves um, remember to reach out to a loved one because there's a lot of people suffering in the world right now um, unnecessarily no matter what when anything comes down to whatever uh, no matter what side you believe no matter what you believe in um, any loss of human life is tragic so anything like that just you know keep people in your prayers if you pray if not um, you know try to have some good vibes call someone you love and tell them you love them today that's all. Um, other than that, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Keep it. Keep an eye out for the next uh, video. I'm going to be doing a tier list video of some uh, very shilly projects. So uh, it's getting shilly out here in this crypto winter. So we should be we should be able to have some fun and make some people mad in that. Putting a flex emoji in the comment section down below. And uh, other than that, guys, take care of yourselves. Have a great day. Thank you. <laughs>